it's Lori here. I am stopping in today to make a card with the new set from Altenew called Pin Sketch Mandela. The set includes one large Mandela image, a couple of accents, and several sentiments. To create this card, you'll need a card base of your choice with whatever color combo you're wanting to go with, a piece of watercolor cardstock. You'll need some black ink. I'm gonna use Coral Berry from Altenew. Of course, you'll need the Pin Sketch Mandela stamp set, and today I'm gonna to use a sentiment from Hand Picked Bouquet. I already have the Mandela image set up in my Misty, and I'm just going to put the watercolor cardstock right inside here. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my image with this Coral Berry ink. Once you have your image inked up, you just wanna lightly spray a fine mist over the image. And I usually just give it a couple, two or three light sprays, and then we'll go ahead and stamp that onto the cardstock. The Altenew ink reacts with water in a very fun watercolor way, and you can always, of course, go back in and add more water. You can really play around with the water to get the end result that you're looking for. So I'm gonna let that dry off to the side, but that gives a fun watercolor effect. Here's the dry watercolor card. I'm gonna cut this down to four inches by five and a quarter, and then we'll go from there. So now I'm gonna cut this card front down. I'm gonna go down the center of the circle and across the middle. Now that I have this card front in four pieces, I'm gonna add fun foam to the back of each panel. I've added fun foam to the back of each panel just for a little bit of dimension off the card. Now I'm gonna add the panels to the front of the card and leave just a little bit of spacing in between so the color of the card base pops through. You can lay these panels out in any direction. You can cut them in any different sizes and kind of work them together on your card front like a puzzle piece. It's fun to leave just a little bit of space to let the color of the card base show through. And now I'll just press those down so they stay nice and tight. Last thing I'm gonna do is use this new Obsidian Pigment Ink from Altenew to stamp my sentiment. If you don't have this ink yet, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful black, stamps a great image, doesn't smear, dries quick, it's really a nice black ink. So there you have the finished card. I wanted to show one more. I left the Mandela in the Misty and stamped another one in the Anti Gold Pigment Ink from Altenew. It doesn't dry quickly, so I was able to add some clear embossing powder and give this a really fun textured look. I'm not sure if you can see that with the camera, but it's just a really fun texture. And again, I just added that same simple sentiment for a really quick and easy card with a lot of detail, even though it's just two stamps. I wanted to show you too, I made an envelope using the same Misty setup with the Mandela image. I just put this envelope right in and stamped it with the pigment ink and it really gave kind of a fun look to the envelope. Definitely lots of possibilities with the pin sketch Mandela. Great for backgrounds and really great for detail and focal points. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching.